Okay, folks, so this is the final part of the train uh, for this six weeks. What we're going to do is we're going to create an IPN file, which is the presentation file. And you guys know you have to have an assembly before you can do this. I'm going to do create view. I'm going to pick my assembly. And here, instead of doing manual, which is what you guys did with the puzzle cube, you're going to change this to automatic and put in two. Tell it OK. Inventor will automatically explode it for you. However, Inventor being Inventor, it's going to have a few things we have to tweak. Notice it didn't pull out the linkage pegs. We're going to need to do that. And we're also going to need to edit this trail here so that none of your parts are hiding. Remember, the point of a um, exploded view is to give a logical explanation of how the thing goes together. So I'm going to click on Tweak Components, and I'm going to zoom up on this little linkage peg that it didn't do and I'm going to pull it out. Click and drag. Whenever you have two pieces that are similar, oh, then you to click clear, do the next one. Um, they're similar parts, you want them to pull out evenly. So I should try and get these as close to, po as close to the same as I can. Get the other side. Clear, click this guy. No, I want him on the z-axis. There we go. Uh, let's try that one again. There he is. I want him on z. Now, I need to reset the front here, so I'm going to click the little wallet. I'm going to click the front of the train, and notice now the train is perfectly straight. It will also give me a better idea of how far out these little linkage peg things came, so I can play with those. I can tweak components on the smokestack and pull it up a little bit. I'm going to reset this as the front by right clicking on the view cube, just got to hit escape, right clicking on the view cube, set current view as front, click the upper right hand corner, set current view as home, fit to view. And these guys aren't in the right spot again, so I'm going to play with them just a little bit just by clicking on them. And now this makes sense to me. The linkage peg goes in the linkage arm, the linkage arm goes on the wheel. The linkage, the axle peg goes through the wheel and then it goes on the train. If you have your linkage arm in between your axle pegs and your wheel, that's not good. Fix that. So now I'm going to save this as uh, exploded view. And I don't even know why it went there. And now the next step is to make a exploded view on an IDW. So I'm going to go PLTWC, create, project name is train engine, your name, enter date, and the file name is exploded view. Wait for inventor to catch up with you and then you're going to go base we want ISO top right we want it in color and we're going to put this guy somewhere on the paper scale should be one to one we're going to print this to true size and shape everything's looking good so far bring him down a little bit there we go I'm going to go to annotate I'm going to click on parts list it should have your assembly file right here. If it is not there, go and find it by clicking on the little magnifying glass. Tell it OK. If it asks you a question about enable BOM view when you do that, tell it yes or OK. Hit escape and let's edit 
the names of these things. So it should be train body, two words. Cow catcher is two words. Hitch magnet is two words. Hitch peg, two words. Fix all of these. Linkage pin, linkage pin. Smokestack, wheel, axle peg. Oh, linkage, I think that should be linkage peg. There we go, tell it OK. And now we're going to balloon. Just click on balloon, click on the item, make sure your your leader line is not straight, it needs to be on some kind of angle, double click. Guys, since we have four wheels, we only need to do one. Same for all of these parts we have multiples of. Make it neat. Don't let balloons cross each other. And you should have nine. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now it's done. Go ahead and save it. And we're going to need to export it to a PDF to get it to print because the new version of Inventor is not working well with the printer drivers on the network. This is a secret, guys. Whenever you have a thing that won't print, export it as a PDF. Nine times out of ten, it'll print. So you have an English paper that won't print, just export it as a PDF. I'm going to export it as a PDF. And it's going to open up in Adobe Reader. You may have to look for Adobe Reader on your computer. It's the first time you open it. It's going to ask you to accept. Just accept. Now to print, I'm going to click on File, Print. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change this to the HP 24 inch T9700. That's the design jet. That's the plotter. That's the thing I yell at you guys for printing to when you're printing you know English papers and stuff but since we're using it legit that's fine click on properties we need to go give it the correct paper size the correct paper size is C just regular old C if C does not appear in your list click on more and it's right here tell it okay tell it actual size and click print and it'll print to the plotter and then you're done with the train engine. The next step is for you to go ahead and draw the track. Once you draw the track, I can show you how to constrain the wheels and the train to the track and make it animate it so it rolls on its own. Okay? Happy train making.